up guys, Baker here. Um, I have a new transition called the Turbulent Displace Transition. And I used it in one of my recent edits and it kind of looks like this little warping thingy. See that? So, quick little like a... Uh, so, it looks weird because it's on the same map, but I um, just want to kind of go over the quick cool thingies and thingy. So basically, you're going to have two overlapping clips, right? So, overlapping a little bit like that. And we're going to make an adjustment layer. Okay. And uh, normally, when I have a large comp with a bunch of layers, I like to trim my transitions on the adjustment layers, just so I know it's a transition, and I can duplicate them and see where to slide the, the layer over and stuff. Oh my. Hold on. Alright, where was I? Sorry, I was on the phone for like 10 minutes or something. Anyways, um, the adjustment layer, right. Okay, search up Turbulent Displace and we'll drag that on. Alright, so we get some cool little wigglies and stuff. So, right now we'll set the amount down to zero. And, um, let's see here. Um, we'll just make a keyframe somewhere. And we'll go forward uh, about a second, maybe, and push U. Keyframe at zero again, move in the middle, and then keyframe this up to about 50 or something. Now, um, what I always like to do is do a quick opacity fade on the top clip. So I like to drag it about uh, one fourth and three fourths in, and push T for opacity. Oops, T. Keyframe, move backwards, and zero. So um, if you can kind of see, it's uh, kind of like that. Maybe scoot this in a little bit more. Usually this wants to be, or you want this to be a quick transition. Very quick. And um, now the bulge is kind of, if you look at the bulge at the top, it's kind of static. So we need to animate the evolution. Keyframe, move forward. We set this to about, uh, I don't know, one or two revolutions. See how this looks. It just kind of wiggles it. See that? Wiggle. Alright, so just kind of, you know, play with the keyframes. Get the speed you want. And there's your wiggle. Now what I do is actually go to this first keyframe and then duplicate this. And on the second one, change the size to 200. That's just uh, change the size of the wave. So there's actually two displacements on it. So you can actually maybe change this down to 50, even smaller, and you get kind of a different different look. You kind of see that wiggly is going on. And if you push U, see all the keyframes, make sure you take all these, and we're going to easy ease them. So um, it's a nice smooth animation going on. And I just, you know, you don't have to do two of them, but just kind of make, uh, I like to do two sizes, and uh, it gets a little bit more warpy and stuff, and uh, quick opacity fade in the middle. Cool, and that's it. Turbulent displace transition, and that's it. All right, like the video, comment, rate, peace, stuff. I love you. Okay, bye.